My experience in Australia so far has been one of real uh, liberation and uh, exploration. I've got to meet different people, very different experiences, but I'm happy for them. I have many, many friends that have now been in very great long-term relationships, be it um, straight relationships or gay or lesbian, they're all doing really good. For me, I think good sex is very important in a healthy relationship and I think there's physical touch and there's quality time and I think both of them um, go together. I think signs of being in a healthy relationship are definitely that you connect to get to know one another through what your passions are and what you can enjoy doing together. Usually the good sign means we have decent conversations, not that kind of person who just will ask how old are you, where are you, can you host, <laughs> do you have everything I need. You get to meet so many diverse people from so many different backgrounds. Maybe a lot of the baggage that you had back home about certain groups of people uh, changes when you start dating here in Australia. Life is up and down and I guess dating allows you to learn from that. I think if I met somebody knew a red flag for me would be um, controlling behavior because I think that is something really toxic to experience from anybody in any sort of social relationship. They don't want me to go out or are telling me to wear certain things, you know, just typical examples of controlling behavior. I would definitely think that that is a red flag. And if somebody keeps texting you at odd, odd times, like 2 a.m. or 5 a.m., it's not usually a good sign.